Geelong game. And then I think it was the next day, we flew off um, to Italy and went to the um, European Training Centre, that's the AIS hub over there. And we flew across to um, England and London. So we had a really good time there, a bit of time off, and went um, shopping, that sort of thing, and then ended up going to Turkey for the Gallipoli Dawn service, which was amazing. And um, yeah, something, it was something you always want to do. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy to uh, come back. Pretty tired and had a great trip. Um, I really like London. Yeah, um, just because it was a lot like, it was a bit like here. Like Milan was fairly different, um, but yeah, you know, speak the same language, so it made everything easier. Yeah. I love London, uh, just the shopping. Yeah. Uh, the shopping's pretty good, so I'd love to go back there. Yeah, I brought uh, a fair bit. It's um, pretty hard to pack it into all my uh, suitcase, but I got all of them there, so it was good. Yeah, I'm probably same as um, Nathy. Probably went there for the shop, for some jeans, some shoes, and some jumper. But uh, yeah, that was, pretty, that was a good experience. Yeah, I'll have to go with the other boys too. I think London was probably the best place. Um, yeah, big city and just to, um, sort of, yeah, just to, just to experience a big city. Yeah, the food wasn't too bad. Um, pretty pretty average, uh, but if you need to eat, you got to eat. Uh, yeah, got to watch a few movies. Got into the uh, Disney Disney films like Hercules, Bugs Life, <laughs> that sort of stuff, so, um, just to pass time, so that was pretty entertaining. Yeah, I don't mind the Disney flicks or yeah. romance. I'm a bit of a romance. They're not bad. Romantic type of life, They're not so, bad. Yeah. Oh. Bit of a chick flick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a bit of that. And there was a red movie, like it was red, some action movie called Red, that was pretty good. So I was, was that to go with the hair or yeah, just... is that a joke or are you oh, trying to be funny? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> a little bit. I was into the games, um, and a bit of iPod, so a bit of music, killed time, so yeah. And sleep too. And sleep. Yeah, well, we got there about one o'clock in the morning, so um, it was really early. Had a good five hours before the actual service started, so it just gave us a great feel for uh, how the soldiers were when they rocked up on the shore. Yeah, when it when it got daylight, um, we could actually see like where we were, and like you could just see the coast and what the like the troops had to try and get up and what they were up against. So it was. It was pretty unbelievable, really. Um, I know there was um, a there was a 15 year old boy that went there that um, cheated. They said that he was 18, so he could go to for Australia. So that's pretty. Um, as a 15 year old, didn't think that. But um, there's a few 18 year olds as well that I've seen, which is uh, how I get the money. It's pretty inspiring. Oh, I